Test one, two, three. Test, 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 test one, two, three. Hold on, everybody. Good morning. Hold on, hold on. I'm a little behind. Do forgive, do forgive me in the studio for the uh, boxing time. Okay, boxing, boxing. I'm just trying to find the right place to stand. Okay, it sounds like it's about right here. How are we doing, everyone? Hold on, I gotta adjust this microphone. I'll tell you what, 2022. I'm gonna invest in a better. A better microphone setup. I, this is not a good way to start a, start a live stream. Actually, I think over here is best. All right. Good morning, DGR. Welcome, welcome to the studio. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I'm just making a mess here. Oh my goodness. I'm breaking. I'm breaking things. I'm breaking things. I'm moving cameras. How we doing? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Where are you watching from around the world? That's right, global. I'm a little behind. It's just been a, a busy morning. Cheers, by the way. Cheers, everybody. Okay. We got our we got our coffee a brewing. Okay, who's gonna be first? Eileen, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen, for tuning in. And I'm realizing, hold on, let me just mic mute that real quick. So I hope you're having a great Monday morning. Happy Valentine's Day and onward and upward. Forgive me for the uh, <laughs> the strange the strange introduction here. Okay, we've got Kenath here from the Maldives. Very very good. Anthony's tuning in. Hello, Alex. What's going on, Alex? We'll see you in Florida. Huh? We're we gonna see you in Florida soon. Okay. Good morning. I know. All right. Good afternoon. Good evening or good night, says Martin. Uh, end of the working day already in Rotterdam. All right. Guess what? I booked my flight, booked my Airbnb. We are good to go for Rotterdam. I, you know, I think it looks like it's going to happen. So I will be, it's amazing. We are entering um, week 11 of the marathon training block. So it's coming up very, very soon. What's going on? Okay. Da, 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 da. Onward and upward. DJ in the house. See Chad run. Congratulations, sir. I know you've been working toward that for a long, long time. That's awesome. Missing Colorado, all right. Oh, man, you're welcome anytime, anytime. I know, a 1,000 subs, that's a big deal. Santa Cruz, California's in the house, that's right. Let us know where you're watching from. Good morning, H-Town Q. And on that note, if anybody's watching over on Discord and you have questions, make sure you hop on to Discord and I will answer them. And, yes, the waffles versus pancakes battle is a brewing. It's a brewing, everybody. My mom, her birthday. Happy birthday, mom, if you're watching. Um, she loves pancakes. I love waffles because, you know, really it's my connection to my grandmother. Whenever I would visit my grandmother, she'd always make the best waffles. Hi, Grammy, if you're watching. And just like how the, the waffles hold the syrup right on top in those little holes. I just love it. I love it. But my mom is more of a pancake fan. So, love you, mom. Okay, here we go. Who else is tuning in? Jersey. What's up, Jersey? Good morning from Chile, Ontario. Oh, man. what What's the temperature? Could you translate it into Fahrenheit, Ben? I'd appreciate it. From Atlanta. Good day, brother. Good, good day, Tyson. Good day, sir. Hello, hello. What is inside the box? That is the question. We've got boxing, everybody. Boxing, anybody, anybody, yeah, yeah, boxing. So it is, we will open those up here in a minute. Good morning from St. Louis. Oh, are you a Rams fan? Congrats to the Rams fans out there. Oh, man, you must be, um, if you are a Rams fan, congrats. Oh, it's a little bit of a heartbreak, though, because they moved to California. But what are you going to do? Kansas in the house. What's up, Kansas? Hello, hello. Oh, Aaron. This is exciting. Coming from New York City, not Northern Ireland. Aaron, how's New York City treating you? Let's go. Steve, I owe you an email back. I'll get you, brother. I'll get you soon. Um, onward and upward. Okay, let me, I haven't even checked if we're live on YouTube because I was a little a little uh, behind. I'll just put it that way. So let me just make sure we are uh, cooking and make sure I'm not missing any super chat over on YouTube, okay. Let's just make sure Ben says negative 31 Fahrenheit. What? Okay. All right. I, I have no, co I, I can, I should not be complaining. Wow. That's really, really cold, Ben. I mean, that's, that's very cold. I think the coldest temperature, actually, let's get it in the chat. How was your run over the weekend? Long run race. All right. What did you do? All right. I'll get you up on the screen. 
what's the coldest you've ever ran in? What's the like the coldest temperature? I think I'm about like negative 21 Fahrenheit, maybe negative right around there. Negative 31. That's another level. That's just Ben. Congratulations. That's amazing, sir. Oh, man. Okay. Watching from India. Thank you. From Pune, Pune uh, India. We got a lot of a lot of um, people watching from India. Um, H-Town Q going with some pancakes. Um, I know they're from, I know they're from LA, but I feel like they came of age in St. Louis. I know, I know, I know. It's a, it's a, it's a complex relationship in that, that Rams, uh, 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 team and ownership. Sweden in the house. Hello, hello, Oklahoma, Tommy. You recovered from that 100K, Tommy, Tommy, huh? Let's, uh, actually, let's do it. Hold on here. Tommy, um. Tommy attempted his first. Tommy attempted his first um, hundred miler and ever. Tommy, congrats, sir! And then he didn't make it all the way, but he made it to a hundred k. And basically, Tommy on not exactly um, hundred mile training, if I'm not mistaken. So, congrats, Tommy, on your um, Rocky Raccoon one hundred miler, sir. You're gonna get that hundred, no doubt about it. Okay, here we go, Matt, with a super chat. Thank you, Matt. Here we go. Matt says, do you ever use cannabis for recovery or pain relief? Matt, I do not. I do not, Matt. But thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, Matt. Um, here we go. Uh, Frank, hello from Central California. What's up, Frank? Uh, oh, the running dad. How did that go? Um, let's see. Did the Mesa Marathon PR'd and eight degrees? Well, first of all, PR bell. Here we go. Boom. Come on, guys. Let's let's get the bell going for the running dad. Congrats. Um, so, uh, and eight degrees. Now, does that mean it was eight degrees? I don't think it was that cold, was it? Uh, maybe you could let us know. Maybe you're talking Celsius? No. Uh, but the running dad, thank you so, so much. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Father Etienne, for tuning in from the monastery. Always appreciate it, sir. John is here. Minus 35. Okay, that's cold. Okay, let me just take a sip here. Mm-hmm. And um, oh yeah, and thanks for hitting that like button. Let the rest of DGR know that we are in fact live. And then on that note, I'm gonna hop over to Discord. Just make sure we're not missing any. Ooh, there we go. Live stream. Here we go. Steve, Nike Street Fly on the horizon. Also, shoot choice for Gasparilla. Email audio seems to be clipping just a tad. I know. Does that mean a little too loud? A little too loud? I know. I know. I need. That's why I need, you know what, all right, get a cheers going. I'm sorry, Steve. It's just a test, 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 test. I know, Steve, Steve. It's an art form. It's like, depending on where you stand. Um, Streak fly, if Nike sends them to me, listen, I'm at the point, I'll just be very frank with all of you. I'm at the point where I just don't want to, chase running shoes i'm sorry i know that doesn't sound great um i just you know first of all you know they don't give them away and if companies like puma like actually a box i think we're going to open today i think is from puma if they're willing to just send me like six pairs of shoes i'm gonna go with them and like listen nike doesn't need me for marketing okay they don't need me uh so they know that and so they're going to uh, I mean, they're just such a behemoth that they don't need influencers. They have so much money. They have such a network. And I don't know. I'd rather, I guess, put that money towards something else. But Nike, hey, if you're listening, send them to me. I'll test them. DGR would like to know. I would like to know, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break my back. Or it's honestly, you know, and the the money is one thing, but it's just the time of like tracking them down and. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of boxes here to test, so that's where I'm at, Steve. I'm sorry. I, I hopefully that does not disappoint you. And undecided on the uh, on the Gasparilla, and I'm realizing I, I uh, it's a little a little bright in here right now. Let me just drop this down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right, Jean. That is right, Tommy. 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 Mm -hmm. Dan is in the house. What's going on, Dan? Okay. And again, if you have any other questions, hop into Discord. 
Okay. Running at Bangkok, 38 degrees Celsius. Ooh, man, that's amazing. You are welcome, Steve. He says, thanks for the honesty over on Discord. That's just where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Man, unbelievable. Okay. Meant the coldest I have ever ran in the race was 80. Okay, I see what you're saying. And Brian is here. Hey, Seth, hope you had the family are well. 10K PB this weekend. Uh, 3809, so happy. Brian, that is moving, sir. Brian, congratulations. That is a big, big deal. So you should be happy. Actually, is that a PR? Oh, my, my. Hold on. <laughs> Boom. Let's uh, let's get the bell going. And did you PR this weekend? Okay. Did you PR? Let's, let's let it loose. I mean, we've got a couple coming in so far. That's what DGR likes to do. Ring that PR bell. Oh, congratulations, Brian. Awesome. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Do, 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 do. Frank, I'm sure that will show up at some point. Danny's here. What's going on, Danny? And welcome, everybody. We're doing, uh, I'm noticing the, uh, the, the number of viewers is going upward, uh, onward and upward. Listen, I try to do Monday mailbags consistently, but... If I don't have boxes to open, doesn't, you know, exactly make sense to do a Monday mailbag. So it's been a couple weeks. I realize that. But we are going to open some boxes up here in a minute. Sound good? And then we'll answer any questions you guys have. Right now we're just riffing a little bit, talking about our weekend uh, fun and shenanigans, chasing down PRs and having good times out on the trails or out on long runs. So that's where we're at. So if you have questions, I will get to them uh, once we open up some of these boxes. Okay, let's see. Um, Joshua says, big yup. Posted the Facebook group with my half marathon PR yesterday. Tired and proud today. That's a, uh, come on, come on. Joshua, congrats, Joshua. That's awesome. Uh, if you care to share what race you did, that'd be great too. Um, Mark, I think the Speedgo 5 might be March, mid-March. Ooh, I, I'm, a lot of people are asking about that. I thought it might be mid-March, but I could be, uh, I could be wrong on that. Quint, oh my goodness, this is great. Come on. Oh, you almost ran the exact same time as, um, oh gosh, who just put that, uh, was it, um, Brian? <laughs> Boom. Hello, Dolly. That is awesome. Good job there. Man, we are throwing down now in the chat. You guys get it, get that bell going all over the place. Okay, just going to check back in, make sure I'm not missing. Andy in Discord. So if you're a member of the channel, you know where to go. Hop over to Discord and you can ask your questions in the live stream channel on Discord. Okay, here we go, Andy. Do you get most of your shoes sent from the companies direct or from running warehouse slash other mass sellers? Um, test, test, test. Andy, I believe we're looking, I would say, hmm, 60, 40, 60 from running, 60% running warehouse, 40%. Hmm. That seems about right. Yeah, we'll go with that, Andy. So it's, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. Okay. Chris here. Hey, Seth. Uh, hey there from Can Carmen, Manitoba. A weekend of watching Olympics. Plan to run in a dump of fluffy snow today. That's awesome, Chris. Ooh, chilly once again. Oh, man, my. Okay, onward and upward. Oh, man, did I miss it? Colton, here we go. Half marathon PR, 135 from 202. First in-person half I have gotten to run in two years. Wow. You guys are throwing down. Man, this is inspiring me to chase a PR. Holy guacamole. Good job, Colton. That is that is great, sir. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. well, here we go. Timothy, providing a little insight, perhaps. All right, here we go. My running shoe store says mid-March for the Speedo 5. I've got a pair reserved. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I don't know. That's the rumor on the streets. I think we're going to stick with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool, Matt. Won my age group and got my first trophy. It was a wine glass. I like that. That is creative. Mm. You know, something a little different than a medal. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I think we will, Martin. Everybody can read Martin's question there. I think we will. And all right, let's open some boxes. Um, let's see, what was, I'm trying to think what, well, we're just gonna start, we're just gonna start here. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes, interesting. Hmm, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's do it. Um, so, you gotta be careful in the online world. Um, bottom line, there's a lot of companies out there. They send you stuff and they want promotion, you know? So I'm not endorsing basically anything that's showing up at my house. I did get a little message saying that these were coming. I'm not endorsing them. I don't, I, I don't, you know, you got to test the quality and all of that good stuff. But let's, uh, I believe these are sunglasses, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Oh, man. I run over mountains, a.k.a. Aaron over on Discord. Sunday's run was a 23-mile, three-hour easy long run exploring Manhattan in the snow. That sounds like a dream. I just love, I love nature. I run over mountains, but I also love looking at architecture. And so just exploring a big city, like that's why I love running marathons in big cities. You just get to like soak it all in, all the beautiful architecture and parks. And so I run over mountains. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Okay. Bum, bum. Oh, boy. And we got a super chat. Don't want to miss that. The running dad. Thank you so much. I uh, want to make sure you see this one. Uh, girlfriend got a BQ. Kaylin ran a 326.25. Congratulations, baby. That's awesome. Woo! Come on, everybody. Cheer for Kaylin. Thank you for the super chat. The running dad, uh, Kaylin. All right. Everyone cheer on Kaylin in the chat. That's great. Congratulations. That's awesome. 326 is no joke. Man. Okay. Here we go. Again, I can't endorse these, all right? But, <laughs> whoa. I think they're kind of zesty as far as the look. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for this? You guys ready? Hold on. Hold on. Hold your, hold your britches. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it's kind of zesty. Okay, and I see you, Ryan, has been a member of the channel for 16 months. Thank you, Ryan. Finally made a live stream for the first time in a while. Ryan, thank you for being a member for 16 months. That is epic. You ready for this? One, two, and a three. Hello, Dolly. Oh, that's kind of, that look kind of nice. Now, again, uh, I'm not sure on the build quality, you know what I mean? But, hey, they look kind of cool. There you go, Toreg. All right, again, I'm not endorsing this company, but thank you for sending them along. You know, here's the deal. I had my Smith sunglasses, and I'm sure you guys are the same way. You've got your Smiths, you know, and but they're like, you know, some of the Smith sunglasses that I used to buy, <laughs> I might buy them again someday, but they're, you know, they're around 200 bucks. And you just, I, I mean, it's a, it's a, sunglasses is a racket in the sense that I've lost way too many pairs probably two or three and it's just like man people are stepping on them and breaking them and it's a racket in the sense like it falls on the owner not to break them or lose them and i just got so tired of losing nice sunglasses so i've kind of stopped buying sunglasses so i cannot endorse these but hey what do you know i will give them eh, i'll give them a test it is very sunny out today what's up frank um, is it, do these, do these look like the Terminator as well? Huh? Not too shabby. All right, here we go. Making sure we're not missing anything over on the cord and the DDGR. Okay. Congrats there. Okay, here we go. Bum, bum. Ah. Uh -huh. This is the, uh, this is the thumbnail box. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, any guesses? I'll just tell you it's a New Balance box, all right? What's in here? Okay, hold on. Oh, one, two. Any guesses? Any guesses? Oh, one, two, and three. Bum, bum. Oh, fresh foam more. Trail V2. Hello. Whoa. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. That is a clunker. That is a serious clunker. Oh man, okay, let me just take these uh, glasses off so I can see. Hold on, here we go. Let's go, let's go. All right, let me just take this off. Take this off, take this off. Goodbye, Aaron. Okay, there we go. Whoa. It is a serious, but I gotta tell you, this weight, this weight feels amazing. Okay, let me just take this out. Wow, who's excited about this? Oh, oh my my. It feels slash, I mean, I just gotta say, it kinda has a little bit of a Hoka uh, look to it. You know, it's a that is a chunky, chunky midsole. Okay, fresh foam more. I was a fresh foam more fan of 2021. All right, the road option, but man, here we go. It is a beast. Um, okay, should I weigh it? Shall I weigh it? All right, here we go. I'm going with, ooh, it is light, everybody. I think it's light. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with nine ounces. All right, yeah, right around nine, perhaps. Ooh, okay, a little off, 10.2. Not bad, not bad. For the, the for that amount of midsole, that in my size, um, not bad. Ten point two. I mean, it's it would be nice if it was like nine point five, but ten point two for that kind of. I mean, it is chunky, chunky, chunky. So there you go. Okay, moving on here. Let's go. Oh my goodness, so many boxes. It's a little time. Okay, actually, I might. Well, you know what? We need to we need to keep testing everybody. So we're gonna we're gonna open up. All these shoes. Okay, hold on. What's next? Yeah. Okay. Road or trail? Uh. Let's see. Tommy's asking, yes, Vibram on the outsole. Okay, Tommy, there you go. Vibram on the outsole. All right. So, I got to say, I'm kind of excited. Um, here's the deal. Like mountain running, I can sense that you probably, you know, you don't want to roll an ankle out there in this type of, but if you're on buffed, more buffed trails, you know, or you're doing like 18 to 30 miles out on the trails that are not crazy technical, I could see this basically fitting well. If you want to just, you know, baby the legs a little bit, um, and sadly, I'm realizing I don't have the durometer. Where is it? Oh my goodness! I think it's in the other room. I apologize. That was that's my bad. Uh, the durometer tester. So, oh okay. What's going on here? Okay, road or trail? What's next up? <laughs> Would be awesome in snow, says Ben. Okay, I know David. These just arrived, David. Hello, hello. Not too shabby, huh? Huh? They actually got a nice little look. They almost look like my old Smith sunglasses. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh man, what's in it? What's in the box? Oh, Sakanin House One, Two, and Three. Boom! Here we go. You know, you know, you know. Kinvara Thirteen. Uh oh, that is to the moon. I gotta say, I've always, you know, I've pretty much always enjoyed the Kinvara lineup. It's not an epic lineup for me. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm actually excited just for a trainer that is a little leaner. Okay, let me just put that over there. A little leaner, not a ton of midsole, but just gets the job done. Um, promotes forefoot striking. I do remember from the Kinvara 12. Ooh, this is this is this is okay. This is I'm I'm all, I'm excited about this guy. Look at that outsole, huh? Not much on the bottom. You know what that's all about, okay? Kinvara 13. Butter to the bread. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, H Town. I do not have the durometer. I don't. Oh, where is it? I'm trying to think. I was measuring. Oh boy, I don't know where it's at. So, just stay tuned. I'm sorry, I don't have the durometer handy. Okay, let's put that guy up there. Now, another big box coming at you. 
Oh my goodness, almost 200 folks tuning in on a Monday morning. Thanks for tuning in. We're opening boxes, answering questions. Hope everyone's having a great Valentine's Day, all right, on a Monday. Oh my, my. Actually, let us know if you know you got a true love in your life. What, any Valentine's Day plans? I know it's kind of, um, I know it's kind of been uh, commercialized a lot, but you know, it's, it's it's good to show your love for your loved ones out there, okay? Or your mom or your grandma, okay? There you go. Affluent Journeys just got the K11 for seventy five dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Colton says way the Kinvara. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, first let's get the guesses going. Um. Exactly, H Town. Exactly. Um. Ooh, zesty. Ooh, zesty, zesty. I want to say like six point eight, but I'm thinking it's more like seven point eight. Ooh, it's it's light. It's it feels very light. Seven point eight. Guesses, guesses, guesses. Get them coming. Come on, come on. Come on, here they come. Do 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 Gary from Karachi, Pakistan. Thank you for watching from Pakistan. That's incredible. Thank you. You're amazing. I mean, it's like, is do you have like a a running group that you meet up with in Pakistan? I mean, you know, it's just such a, a you know. I don't know if I'll ever go to Pakistan, but I just I know there's huge the big some of the biggest mountains in the world in Pakistan. But man, thank you for watching from literally on the other side of the globe. Love that. Okay, here we go. Now they're coming in. Seven point five. 8.8, 7.9 for Chris, 8.1 for Andrew, 7.7 for Noah, 8.1 for Ben, 6.9 for David, 7.6 for Ryan. Here we go. Oh, I was, oh, trust your gut. Trust your gut in this world. What did I say before? I said 6.9, and then I switched to 7.9. My initial gut Wow. <laughs> okay. Does anyone remember what the next percent two in my size, the A6 Metaspeed Sky in my size? Anyone remember those? Okay. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Actually, I can lift it up for you. Do, 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 dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. That is butter to the bread. Mm, mm, mm. 6.6 ounces for a, a neutral training shoe? Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's Rebel V2 territory. That is... Let's just see. I think this is more like 7.5. Okay, and then Father Etienne is making us laugh here. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> trust your gut. Oh. Okay, Rebel Rebel V2. We're having a good time today. Rebel V2 is on the scale right now. Okay, here's the, uh, just to show you. Okay, so here's the Canvara. That's the Rebel V2. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Okay, that's... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this is good stuff, everyone. Oh, man. So now the question becomes, okay, you know, this is the soft butter shoe. So very, 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 very soft butter shoe. Okay. So this is, oh, man. Wow. So, you know, it's dense. It's dense. I'm just doing a, a, the thumb durometer. So the question's going to become, oof, man, nice. You know, it's, ooh, nice. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be, you know, just that strong forefoot striking. It's lean. It's lean and mean, everyone. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, Kinvara 13 coming in 
Hot in the yellow colorway. Okay. Whew. Whew. Spicy. Spicy, says Ryan. You are correct, sir. You are correct. Woo. Hello, Dolly. Okay, here we go. Not bad, says William. Okay, Sebastian. Oh, why nobody said anything about a live stream? Almost miss it. Sebastian, you uh you hop over to di- uh over to Discord if you if you have I know the whole um you know live stream notification system via the YouTube is not the best. Now put them both in the freezer. That's right, Ben. Uh-huh. Deborah, hello from Australia. Probably nearly 3 30 a.m. here. Whoa, probably. So you don't are you not by a, a clock, Deborah? <laughs> Thank you for watching from Australia. Uh, I need that colorway in my rotation, says Colton. Uh-huh. Fire. Straight fire. And thank you, Sebastian, R- the running dad, uh, Brian, Tommy, Colton. Who else? All these members. Mike, I see you all. I see you. Uh, the running dad again. You guys are the best. Okay, Andy. All right, here we go. Last box. And this one might be the best, actually. Let me just um, hit record here on the regular camera. Okay. Little little behind the scenes vlog action. Who? Okay. Before we open this last box, I've been doing YouTube for almost six years every day. And I like to keep things different and fresh and unique and try new things and push boundaries and just tinker, tinker. You know, my grandfather had a a wood shop in his garage when I was younger and we would just go out to his wood shop and tinker. You know, we just, you just tinker around, you know, to kind of pass time, you know, whether you're building a birdhouse or a, uh, uh, a breadboard or a, um, a toy, a wooden toy. And you just kind of tinker around with tools and break things and you know just figure it out so same here and i took wood shop in uh, middle school and high school loved it uh still have some furniture actually that i made in high school but um when you tinker um on youtube you just are trying to see what people want to watch and so as you've probably noticed I'm trying longer vlogs, and I don't know if you actually have time, but if you care to share some insights right now in the live stream chat, or if you're watching this on replay down below in the comments, uh, what do you think of these long vlogs? All right, today was 28 minutes. Last weekend was like a 33-minute vlog, and I obviously, I will not, you can never do that every single day, but... I just am tinkering and trying to figure out, like, do people, when they're foam rolling, when they're eating breakfast, when they're going to bed, when they're, who knows what, commuting on the subway, um, are they enjoying some of these longer vlogs? If you care to let me know, I'd appreciate it. So, there you go. I, I, I'm just always tinkering. All right, here we go. Um, David says he's just eating candy. Great. That's awesome. Chris, Hello. Hello from Portland, Maine. I watch every upload. Matthew, thank you. See you from Portugal. Congrats, uh, congrats from be, congrats from port to, to you from uh, the U.S. to Portugal. Butter that bread, says Timothy. Okay, here we go. Last box. Last box. 189 people, as uh, I can see here watching. I love it. Okay. MC Running says, I love the longer videos. Uh, when I film for my own YouTube, I make longer vlogs for better watch time because it helps the algorithm. There you go. Uh, love the long vlogs, says Ben. My wife and I watch them during break every day. Thank you, thank you. Peter says, 30 minutes is too long. See, this is good. Um, there you go, Peter. Thank you for the uh, the feedback. Love the long vlogs. Most of my YouTube watching is longer form content. Nice. Love the longer vlogs. I put it up as I start my day. Daniel, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Love the long vlogs, says Tisha, in artistic work with music and nature and fam. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chad. Yes, I enjoy the 20 to 30-minute vlogs. They are nice to multitask, too, with breakfast, strength training, stretching, and foam rolling. And that's kind of my hope, frankly. It's like multitask. I'm all about efficiency in this world, so multitasking is a good, good thing. Okay, here we go. 
But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it away right now. Boom 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 ba da da do 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 Who was a fan of Puma in twenty twenty um Let me just think here. One. Twenty twenty one. What year is it? Twenty twenty two now? Puma? Boy, there is more than one pair of shoes in this box. This is fire. I'd say there's three. One, two, I think there's three shoes in here, okay? You guys ready for this? Who's a fan of Puma? Oh, man, a lot of comments coming in. I'm sorry I cannot put them all up on the screen. Um, I wish I could. Let's see. There you go. Cuddles, I, I appreciate that. I always appreciate it. Uh-huh, Daniel, onward and upward. Sebastian, I'm, I, I see your comments. I see them. I can't read them all. Mm-hmm. You guys are the best. Okay. Hey, Gabe, I have a tough workout today. Eight by 600. Pray for me. Ha ha. There you go, Gabe. Onward and upward. We got you. We got you, Gabe. Okay. Whew. Okay. Whoa. Ugh. What's inside? Oh, man. See, now the, now the 2020 shoes are coming in hot. Now they're coming in hot. Oh, man. We got some serious, serious um, work ahead of us. I don't know what's in here. I have no clue. No clue. Uh-huh. The big cat. The big cat. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> One, two, eight. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. The Fast Nitro Elite. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now, is this their premier plate shoe? Oh my goodness. I'm I'm just a little I'm I'm, I'm taken aback. I'm taken aback. Oh my my. Okay, let's take Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Puma. Hello, Dolly. Oh, in my size. It's correct size. I just checked on the inside here. Whoa. Okay. I was not expecting this. And there is a sticker on the bottom. It says, I'm made out of carbon, but I can still break. So please don't try. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Can you guys see that there? Oh, there you go. Whoa. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh my ma, oh my ma, hey hey hey, here it comes. Da, 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 da. Whoa, there's a QR code on the inside. There's a QR code. I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't know what to. Th I don't know what to say. Um. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna. I, I I okay. I gotta talk. Um. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at that keel. Oh, it's so bright. I'm so sorry. Let's see. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Oof. Oof. Okay. I'm just going to set it down because I'm just a little, I'm a little taken aback. Um, it is the, hold on again. It's, I, I, I knew it was coming. Fast R, faster, fast our nitro elite faster nitro elite this is butter very exciting thank you puma okay thank you puma and yes there is another shoe but first i see somebody um with a little celebration coming in here hold on hold on where are you where are you anyway i saw you there where are you there you are alex thank you for being a member for the last seven months there you are alex thank you alex i wanted to get you up on the screen thank you so so much 
Set it down. Set it down. Okay. Whew. YouTube, what are you thinking of that? Okay, here we go. Okay, last. Okay. We got another box, ever. We are not done yet. Oh, my, my. Puma. I mean, okay, Puma was, I wanted Puma to come on strong in 2021, which they did. But then there was, what was the other company? Oh, Mizuno. I'm really, 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 really hoping Mizuno in 2022 is the 20, is the Puma of 2021. I think Mizuno is poised for the comeback. Here comes the comeback. The kid is back, back on track. Oh my, my 200 people watching on a Monday. All right, here we go. Um, uh, bo, one, two, three. Oh, whoa. what is this guy? Oh, I love Puma. I just love you. Okay, we got the Velocity. Here it is. The Velocity 2 coming in hot in 2022. The Puma Velocity 22. Oh, my, my. Wow. There it is. I was a fan of the Puma of the Velocity in 2021, the original. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Gosh. It just, it feels nice. Um, Man. It just feels real, real nice. So there you go, everyone. Running shoe boxes are completely opened. And let's um let's get it on the screen. Hold on. Question questions. Here we go. Do si do. What questions do you have for I know we're going a little long today. Usually I try to go about 30 minutes, but can't um can't you know just getting a little too excited here. In the studio, shoo studio. Ryan says, I absolutely snap, says Peter. Peter, snap. I absolutely love those, says Ryan. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to get to as many as possible. Big Puma fan, says Ryan. Mizuno fan here. Nice, Peter. Yeah, you know, they um build quality. High build quality. Colton. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the running dad, I think Reebok. Yes, you know, that was another, I know, Reebok, I was hoping for good things in 2021. And gosh, if any, uh, frankly, this is a good reminder. If anybody has connections to like Nike <laughs> to running shoe companies, let them know I'm, I'll test anything. I really will. But if I, if they don't send me the shoes, I can't, you know, and I, eh, you know, I'm just not going to go drop a thousand dollars in running shoe money when Puma is sending me, you know, five hundred dollars worth of running. You know, it's like so. It's if you if you care to reach out to these companies and just let them know, hey, this guy he does running shoe reviews. If you want to send him a pair of of shoes that are coming out soon, um, send him his way. That's where I'm at. Okay, so I'd be happy to test Reebok. Mizuno, <laughs> Nike Streak Fly, all these shoes, but at the at the end of the day, I'm plenty busy with Puma and other running shoe companies. And I will weigh, all right, here's the deal. I will weigh this shoe in tomorrow's vlog, okay? Actually, that might be the question of the day. Um, what do you think this shoe weighs? And I will weigh it and then put it in tomorrow's vlog. Deal? All right, so come back to tomorrow's vlog. And we, all right, so what questions do you guys have for me? Oh, my, my, Aaron, you are the best. Um, let's see, Seth, you helped blow up Puma in 2021. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I appreciate what Puma's doing. And Aaron, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for being a member for the last 16 months. Unbelievable. You guys' support is awesome. And if you're new to the channel, um, I know, you know, if you want to support the channel, help me make these vlogs every day, help me increase the quality of the vlogs, fix broken equipment. Uh, you can become a member of the channel on the home page of the channel. Just click on join. All right. It does help out a lot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, please do. That's exactly how it happens. Tweets work well. Messages on Instagram work pretty well. And if you can find good email contacts, 
And it's not just email contacts for the running shoe companies, but the marketing managers that manage these companies, okay? A lot of times, running shoe companies hire PR agencies, okay? So that's kind of the trick there. But no, I would appreciate it, the running dad. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. I know, you know, they never showed up. There you go, J-Bay. They never showed up. I don't know what happened. Come on, Hoka. Um, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Peter running Tesla. Okay. You're all good, Antoinetta. I appreciate you tuning in. You missed a lot. You might want to watch the replay on this one. It was a good, good live stream. Colton, we'll get you in tomorrow's vlog. Come back and watch tomorrow's vlog. Puma Trainer and Racer are here in the house. That's right. Okay. Mm, okay, just looking for your questions. Tuning in from Taiwan. James, thanks for tuning in from Taiwan. Other other side of the globe. Yes, a good, good day here on the channel. Okay, let's see. Andrew's saying, if you have a 30 to 35 mile average week, how would you progress onto a marathon training block? What do you think is a reasonable mileage goal to have within my first marathon block? Andrew, great question. And Andrew, I always say if you really want to enjoy the marathon, strive to hit 70 miles a week um, at your peak volume. Sounds like you maybe have never gone above 35 to 40-ish, maybe, you know, if that's where you've lived. So you might want to, if it's your first marathon training block, I wouldn't go much above 50 to 55. 70 might is probably too much. But Andrew, I always say increase your volume for three weeks and then back off. So it's like a f every month. Um, so you'd go like 35 uh, for one week, 40 for the next week, 40, 40, <laughs> 47, 48, maybe 50, and then 52, 53, and then back off for a week. Okay, so kind of absorb that training into your legs. Again, don't know your background, don't know your injury history, but it's like three weeks up, one week back. Three weeks up, run one week back um until you are at your peak volume oh, so that's kind of my general rule of thumb um thank you andrew for tuning in mm -hmm. gary um says i've never used discord what is it it's a live messaging uh platform okay where we chat live about running shoes, about training, about food, about all sorts of fun. It's really fun. Um, I'm actually going to jump on right now just to see if there's any chat happening, and there is. So you become a member of the channel, and then you can chat. Um, uh, you can chat. I'm like reading messages right now from Steve, from Henry, and from Steve again. So it's just a way for where we can chat live with each other and ask questions and inspire each other, hold each other accountable. We talk about our daily runs. Discord is awesome. So to join up, you uh, you can become a member and then you're, you're in. Uh, Daniel, who knows? I might, do, um, I might do a workout Thursday in Wash Park. And um, so stay tuned. If you want to come to Wash Park on Thursday, it's going to be a little chilly. But we might do a little, uh, if you want to watch a workout, I think I might do it on Thursday in Wash Park. So stay tuned. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Best everyday Hoka Clifton 8 or Arahai 6? Well, depends on if you want a little stability or not. I personally love, well, the Mach, of course, the Mach 4, but then also the Rincon lineup. Two, <laughs> frankly, one, two, or three. Um, so there you go. Thanks for tuning in. And, okay, okay, Andrew, Andrew. All right, with that, let me just make sure I think we're good to go. Onward. Thanks for tuning in. Onward and upward. Um, I know we went a little long there. Usually I try to keep it closer to an hour, or sorry, half an hour. So one more ring of the bell for everybody who had PRs. If you're watching this on replay, just go. If you have any other questions, I'll try and squeeze in one more. But, um... Um, that was for everybody who ran a PR or a PB this past weekend. There was at least four people, I, I do believe. So congrats. Big, big deal. Um, okay, we'll take two more here. Dermet, thank you, sir. 
Um, let's see. Dermet, Dermet um, says, Seth, have you seen recent video with Canova session 30K run with 1,200 meters of gain? Da, 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 da. I have not. Um, I saw the thumbnail, but I have not watched it. And, yep, yeah, Canova is the man. He's, he's a great coach. Uh, Andy is saying, very hilly, 74-mile ultra in six weeks and just had to take a week off for a calf strain. Try to get to miles of 70 to 80 again or just be conservative and hope the fitness carries. In six weeks, um, always, always so fit, fresh, and healthy. If you're not healthy on the starting line, it's just very, very, very difficult to perform well. Okay, so I would back off kind of like what you're talking about. Your fitness is going to carry, but you got to get that calf under control first, Andy. That's priority number one. And then from there, uh, six weeks to go. I mean, you're you're not that far off. Mm, yeah, I would say if your calf feels perfect, like seven days from now, I would say you could ramp up a little bit again, like to 60 miles a week. But I don't know. I don't think you need to go back to 70 to 80. By definitely not. So number one priority is get that calf under control, Andy. All right, your fitness is going to be fine. Yeah, you're going to be you're going to be good. Um, and you could you know maybe cross train. Okay, hit the bike, hit the pool. You know, just add a little cross training might be the way to go, Andy. All right, thank you, Andy, for being a member. Here we go. Okay, whoo, onward and upward. Thanks for tuning in. I, I hope I didn't miss too, too much, but, oh, well, well, oh, my goodness. All right, all right, CAD coming in, coming in last. Here we go uh, with a great one. My wife got a PR this morning on her 5K. Super proud of her. Oh. CAD, make sure your, your wife uh, watches the end of this live stream. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., Way in the Puma. Way in the Puma. All right, get your guesses ready. Oh, my, my. Woo! See you tomorrow.